Sakari, you're chasing the snow, making us crazy. What do you got? The 2016 snowpocalypse has people updating their grocery list. On the top of that list, two key items. I gotta get the bread and milk. Meet New Jersey native, now world famous, Vic DiBetetto. The stand-up comedian took notice of these anticipatory days leading up to a storm like the one that is on our horizon, and he made a little YouTube video about it. They said snow! I gotta get the bread and milk! Oh my God! 14 million views later, he has become the face of storm preparation. So I headed to get Vic's advice on stocking up. Let's go! Oh, oh, we gotta get the bread and milk. Hurry up! Hurry up! Get the bread and milk. Come on! Come on! You got semolina, you got Italian, you got seeded, unseeded. Look at this. You got club rolls, there's brick oven with whole wheat rolls, onion rolls. They even have bread sticks. Huh. What do I do? Sticks, rolls, clubs. I don't know. I'm so confused. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the bread. Yeah. The milk. It's not here. Yeah. This is the milk. This is the soda. I don't want soda. Almond milk? Make up your mind. You, I, I drank it the other day. I choked on an almond. If you want you almonds, get almonds. You got skim. You got half and half. Fat free. They said snow. When I was a kid, the, the milkman would bring milk into the tin cans and just leave it there in the middle of summer. And by the time you drank it, it was cottage cheese. Oh, my God. My mother would say, shut up and drink your milk. What about the chocolate milk? They even have chocolate milk for the kids. It's like on a Friday or There's something? so much milk. milk. I'm so oh. I don't know what milk to get. That's when I had an epiphany. We're in Jersey. Me and my new friend Vic D want people at home to indulge during the snowpocalypse season with two new go-tos, Bill. Mozzarella and vino. Well, you gotta uh, say mozzarella. Not mozzarella. Fresh. Mozzarella. Not that? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. It's mozzarella. Uh, mozzarella. And a nice, nice bottle of wine. Oh, Who's I love better that. Than Who's I mean, better than us? Who's better than us? Better milk. I mean, you get the mozzarella and wine. This Come on. This blizzard is sounding real delicious Who right cares about if it now. Smells? Who's got it better than us? Nobody's better than you Fresh and me. Fresh mozzarella and wine. Come on, why? Let everybody else suffer with the bread and milk. This We're is in Jersey. Jersey. That's right. Come on. Whether or not there is snow, there is certainly no calm before the storm. People be crazy. We spoke to Liz Mandel, who is an expert on all things crazy. Liz, I've heard you introduced a lot of ways. Not yet that way. You're a therapist. Why is the snow making everybody nuts? I think that we've become very bored as a society, and we look for stimulation through technology. And so when an opportunity comes around where we can feel a, a sense of community um, with each other and run out to interrupt our lives as opposed to just turning to text messaging and Twitter all the time, then we jump at the opportunity. Why the obsession with bread and milk? Because when there's a huge snowstorm, there's always a power outage. Those are the first two things that will go bad. Why don't people just focus on other items like canned foods and toilet paper? I think it's, it's like a biblical thing. I think people look for <laughs> bread and cheese as if we're back in the day in the Bible times. Um, you know, milk kind of represents home, like the womb and women lactating. And bread is like, you know, country food. It's like everyone eats bread together and we break bread for dinner. Do your best to enjoy the snow in. Okay, thank See you, Liz. Still.